Hola YouTube, how are you doing? Today I want to talk about a video converter. I was in need of a video converter because in the 90s when I was filming with stuff like this, you know, <laughs> we created like them tapes and when the computers got a little bit stronger, somewhere end 98, we could like record the file to the computer and then uh, because our specifications were not so good of our computer we could then create a VCD or a uh, SVCD right and creating a SVCD and a VCD at that time all, also in the beginning of uh, 2000 was very interesting because you know, uh, after being able to create a CD, the audio CD, you know, it was fantastic that we cre that we could create a VCD. And you guys, many of you don't even know what is VCD because <laughs> it's maybe before your time or you never heard about it. But a VCD is something like a DVD, you know. And uh, before you had DVD, you had VCD. And to create a VCD, that would would be created from an MPG file, MPEG file, and uh, the VC, SVCD would be MPEG2 file. So and now we have MPEG4 that became DVD, right? So all these little files or these little CDs here, the CDs, they contain videos that I created way back, and then created a VCD because thinking the VCD would be then the end destination but it's not because at that time we were so unknown and we probably created videos with content inside that would not that should not be there maybe some song from Tupac you know or some song that would give us copyrights these days so in fact they became kind of useless you know not for all parts but I need to re-edit them and to re-edit a VCD or a SVCD I had one here this is a very old video of me and my girl going to Gran Canaria and it will come online because I'm busy editing it now uh, let me show you the process because I'm talking about free video of what was it free video recorder yes a, a converter sorry uh, but the name is freemake.com and free video converter and here you can see it's busy let me show it to you here you can see it's busy it's uh it's rendering or converting a file now from yeah it's a big file 600 something megabytes so i think this is one hour of video that i'm converting or you know yeah converting now to mp4 from uh, uh, SVCD quality to uh, to HD ready so we're going from 576 by 768 to uh, 1280 by 720 okay so that is clear so what are we doing now we're converting the file we got the file from the CD because when you pop in the CD you will see some folders on the CD and you also will see something like MPEG AF, AV, MPEG AF, something like that. Open that folder and in there, if you had several videos in the in the in the VCD, then you will see the files up there. And these files will be called AVSEC, something like that. And you can copy them to your desktop to a folder and then import them in the free video converter that you can download from here the downloading however is a, a two-step download a two-step verification download so what you first must do is download this 1.2 megabyte file and after that you can download when you install that you can you will be able you will get a a, a, a link click here to download the full program then you will be able to download the 22 megabyte file and then you must install it with caution because there are little gappies inside so you must be careful not to install the software at a certain point you must say custom install and then deselect 
the things you know that it wants to install that is probably the sponsoring that these guys are getting you know so there is some it contains some uh, some adware so you must be careful not to install it of course it's been selected already for you to install you can deselect it so if you don't know how to do that let somebody do it for you i might do an installer uh, a video on the installer because it was a little bit complicated not not for me but you know it might be complicated for some people you know because uh, you must also hit uh, i do not agree you know and most people know that they must hit agree when they install something if you hit i do not agree the thing won't install but you already hit that i agree you know at the beginning so this i agree is not the same i agree like the i agree there this is the i agree from you know you can install the whatever on my pc but if you don't want it you don't have to take it you understand and then you know um the program will start downloading it will also uh, request your firewall to go on the internet uh, and you need to give it permission but at the end of course you can then block it so it does not go on the internet anymore uh, for those not knowing what i was saying don't worry it's just some technical things that has to do with you know with um yeah some wanting programs to go on the internet and some not wanting the programs you know it's just like if you're a dad and you have kids you know dad and mom they have the kids you know some dad and moms they let the kids play on the street whole day well these kids they are not allowed some of my kids are not allowed they are grounded you know so <laughs> this this program at a certain point it gets grounded on my machine and then you know whatever you know it just converts for me and i see that it's converting really good 55 percent doing this on uh, not even the dual core machine the specifications of this machine is let me see is not so significant i could also show you by turning my macbook a little bit to the windows machine it's intel celeron uh mcpu 530 at 1.7.3 gigahertz so this thing has 1.73 gigahertz and it has two gigabytes of ram so you know in fact it's not a it's not a special machine it's nothing special uh, about it but as you can see it's uh it's doing a great job with converting and then you know i'm gonna do some video editing with magics yep 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 the latest magics so also gonna see how that works magics 2015 just got it inside just installed it the trial of course and then i'll see if it works nice and then we might also uh, buy it so peeps this was it uh, for today um you must really check this out it's a nice thing to use uh, on your computer especially if you like to convert little files of course there are so many converters out there but if you need one that is really free and you're also smart with installing then i would go for this one thanks again for watching peeps uh, this was spot from groningen the netherlands and i say bye bye